What's going on, everybody? Um, showing off my uh, two most recent pickups. Um, I think you guys will uh, definitely appreciate these two cards. Um, if you see my previous videos, um, I do a little bit of modern, vintage. I'm sort of all over the place. Um, usually uh, baseball. Um, as you can see here, I got a uh, Jordan Rookie, DiMaggio 39 play ball, and a T206 Willie Keeler. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to show off my uh, two most recent pickups. So I'm going to move these guys out of the way real quick. And um, first one, and by the way, these two cards couldn't be any more different. Um, this first card is the Chris Bryant 2014 Bowman Chrome. Um, and uh, this is obviously the auto, uh, PSA Gem Mint 10. Um, I ended up picking this up. I opened up like two boxes of Bowman Chrome and I was all I wanted was to get like a base card of Chris Bryant and um, The way I look at it I could open probably 10 cases and I would never even get the uh, like a base card of Chris Bryant so I decided to just go ahead and, and buy um, A card and then I went from a base to like ah, you know what I'll get the auto to uh, What the hell I'll get the PSA gem Mint 10 version of it I um, think this kid's going to have a, a huge career, um, and obviously if um, if he uh, ends up winning a World Series with the Cubs, um, that would be uh, that would definitely uh, increase the value of this, uh, this card. So it could be a great investment, could be a terrible investment, we'll see how it goes. Either way, he's got a, a ton of potential, he seems like a, a great player. So um, let me just uh, focus this in on it a little bit. So there's the auto. And a really, really cool card. And here is the back. So, Chris Bryant, 2014 Bowman Chrome Auto. Um, the next card, which, like I said, is couldn't be uh, any more different, is, um, and here it is, ta-da, the uh, <laughs> 1935 Gaudi 4-in-1. Uh, um, you got... Uh, a guy named Marinville, who's a Hall of Famer, which is really cool. You got a, a Marinville who's a Hall of Famer, Brant, McManus, and then obviously, uh, finally, a guy named Babe Ruth. Um, this card is uh, fascinating in many ways to me. Um, number one, um, uh, this is Babe Ruth's final year. And uh, it's actually, the cool thing about this card is it's relatively cheap compared to, you know, the 33 Gaudi and then even the 48 Leaf is a lot more expensive than this card. Um, so it's it's a very affordable card. I, I would assume it's probably because it's a 4-in-1 card. He's with the Braves. He's not with the Yankees. Um, but I actually feel, think there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So let me just show you guys the card real quick. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a PSA 3. It's clearly not a perfect card um but uh nicely centered it's a you know really cool and then here is the back and if anyone can tell me who this guy is um i was looking all over the internet no one really seemed to be able to tell me who this guy is on the back um i thought maybe it's rabbit marinville who's this guy in the bottom right hand corner this guy's a, a hall of famer um, but I wasn't sure. But anyway, the, the really cool thing about this, uh, this card is that, um, this, this Braves team, uh, lost, um, 115 games, uh, back in 1935. They're the seventh worst team in baseball history. Um, it's obviously Babe Ruth's final year where he hit 180 and hit six home runs. So it's kind of like almost like a sad thing. Um, they actually took, um, his 1933 photo, and I guess they cropped the photos and put it into like a four-in-one shot. Um, so that's sort of um, what the 1935 Gaudi is. Um, and um, anyway, a nice, really nice looking card. I've always really wanted to own a Babe Ruth card, so I finally, uh, finally got one. And um, obviously not in perfect condition, but. Um, Either way, it's still pretty awesome to have uh, something from 1935, um, and uh, the fact that it's in any condition is pretty amazing to me. So uh, here it is. I'll zoom in on it a little bit, and uh, let me break out the Chris Bryant. I'll take the two. Um, two very different cards, <laughs> about 80 years uh, uh, apart, but... Um, 
Anyway, uh, again, guys, uh, not looking to sell or trade or anything like that. I'm just looking to share uh, some of my cards. And again, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to post comments. Um, if you know who's on the back of that 35 uh, Gaudi card, please let me know. And uh, all right, thank you very much. All right, bye.